Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to take a look at the Alpha Wolf 22 SWL. This camper comes in at 27 feet, 6 inches tongue to bumper and weighs just over 5,600 pounds empty. As we get started up front here, we have your power tongue jack with the LED lights. You can see at nighttime if you're hooking up. We have two 20 pound LP tank bottles that will be filled by the Outpost RV. We have the hard shell cover and the quick access lid. We have the Group 27 deep cycle marine battery on board. We have the diamond plate rock guard front end with the fiberglass front cap with the accent lights as well. On the Alpha Wolf series, these side walls are gonna be aluminum frame, laminated with the dense styrofoam insulation. Huge pass-through compartment, magnetic door latches. We have the motion sensor light. Your solar controller is in there. This camper is equipped with a 100 watt solar panel already mounted on the roof. It is also prepped for the Furion 360 cameras. So you can add those to the sides there very easily. And we have your electric jacks up front with the switch right here. And how that works, one leg will come down and hit the ground first. The other one will come down, they will equal out in pressure. We also have your leash latch here. So the furry family members can tag along. We have a huge 20 foot power awning here. Again, with the blue LED accent light, each leg is adjustable. If the sun's coming down, you can adjust the pitch of the awning there. We have your outside kitchen. You get the refrigerator, ice maker. There is a water source up here, sink and two burner stove. Directly underneath is an LP quick disconnect. So you can plug in the two burner stove and use the gas that's on the camper here. Outside entertainment center for your connections here and speakers that light up blue. We have your furnace vent. Down below, you'll notice that center cap is popped off. These are quick, easy lube axles. All four wheels have self-adjusting brakes and a tire pressure monitoring system. How that works, the side of this will turn red if you're low on air. So we'll unscrew that to demonstrate. That way you could just walk around and do a visual inspection of the tires before you head off for your next destination. Entrance door, we have the sturdy steps going in where each leg is adjustable if you're on different levels of ground. This oversized grab handle that also drops down. Full size entrance door with a screen door and an integrated window as well. As we move to the back side, we have your travel rack with the spare tire included. Four inch tube bumper to store your sewer hose. Up top, it is prepped for a ladder and a camera. Both are optional that you could add anytime. As we move around to this side, we have all of your connections and dump station. There is a nice bright LED light over here if it's nighttime to see what's going on. Outside shower with hot and cold water. It's got the coil hose sprayer. Up here, what I like with Alpha Wolf is they really clean everything up. You got your cable and satellite connections on the side. Your fresh water fill right in the middle. So that way if you're dry camping or boondocking, you can fill up your fresh water tank, turn on your water pump and use that water. City water over here, if you're at a campground, you hook up your water hose and that'll pressurize the lines for you. And then your black tank flush. So when you're done camping, hook up your water hose here and that'll clean out the black tank for you. We have an on-demand water heater. It is a tankless system. You're only using gas when you're running hot water. So about 60% more efficient than what we used in the past. It is a 30 amp unit and it will come with a 25 foot detachable power cord. As we move around to the front side, Last but not least, we have your other side of the pass-through storage and a 12-volt cutoff switch here. So when you're done camping, you can flip that switch and keep your battery from draining on you. That'll complete the outside walkthrough of the Alpha Wolf 22 SWL, and now we'll take a look at the inside. And now we'll move to the inside. This camper is a great floor plan. Lots of room on the inside. You got the rear bath, which is really large as well. Theater seating in the slide room. Got the kitchen area here. Entertainment center directly across the theater seating. And we're gonna go ahead and get started right inside the entrance door here. Uh, just to the right hand side, we have your voltmeter. So you can keep an eye on your battery levels. There's a 12 volt charge port. So you can bring your monitor for the camera inside if you added that and keep that charged up. On the left hand side is a thermostat for your on-demand water heater. Turn that on and off and adjust the temperature. On the right, we have your thermostat for your air conditioner and furnace. And down below, we have your monitor, which will allow you to keep an eye on your tanks, how full they are. Turn your lights on and off, water pump, run your awning in and out, and the slide room as well. Directly across, we have this built-in pantry 
It's got the frosted glass door, which gives it a really nice look as well. This is considered a walk-in pantry. It's extremely deep. You have some coat hooks over here on the left-hand side, storage all the way down, and then plenty of storage down on the floor as well. With the entertainment center directly underneath the fireplace, we have a built-in vacuum system. It's got the toe kick on the bottom, so you just lift that up and sweep right into it. We have your breakers and fuses on the left-hand side, and of course the fireplace right above it, which can be on for looks, or it can also be on to put off heat for you as well. Up top here, there is going to be a docking station for a Bluetooth speaker you could buy separately and keep it charged up right there. Underneath the TV, this is gonna be for your stereo. It has your zone one and zone two buttons there. And you will use your stereo off your phone. You can simply play music off Pandora or your favorite app and then control your inside outside speakers. TV is included with this model. Over here in the kitchen area, we got your storage up above, microwave with the range vent that vents to the outside, extra light up top there, kitchen window. We have your backsplash, very decorative. Three burner stove with the oven as well. And directly underneath that, we have your furnace. Storage underneath the kitchen sink. We have your farmhouse style sink with the cover included. This is going to be a large single bowl. We also have the high rise faucet with the pull out sprayer included. A 110 and 12 volt charge port back there on the wall. And as we move up into the bedroom area, you'll notice we have this sliding door here. In the bedroom, you're gonna get hanging storage on both sides of the bed. A built in nightstand on both sides there. Overhead storage. Also some nice decorative wallboard up front there. Windows on both sides. And then back here, there is going to be another location for a TV that you can hang in the bedroom area. A couple coat hooks up here. Nice tall window. This outlet over on this side of the bed has a built-in inverter with it. So as you are traveling down the road, even if you only have 12 volt power, you can turn this on and that outlet will be hot for you. Again, with the built-in nightstand, we have a drawer, some hanging storage. The cabinets up above have storage doors on them as well. So you can utilize that while traveling. The camper does come with a table for the theater seat. So you can put that in the middle. And again, we have another 12 volt charge port and 110 outlet on this side of the bed. We'll move out and take a look at the slide room area now. In the slide room, we are gonna have your 12 volt refrigerator. It is larger than the gas electric style that we would use previously. It's a lot deeper, giving you more storage inside. Just to the right of that, we have your pantry area an additional pantry, I should say, that's got your built-in shelves right here. And then some more open storage down below. The theater seats are the heated massage chairs. They also have these blue LED accent lights that you can turn on and off separately. They do recline, very comfortable. Got the center storage in the middle. Zebra blinds, very decorative. They really dress up the camper. You can have it darkened out how it is right there or partially open just to let in some sunlight. Back in the bathroom, we have a sliding door back here. As you can see the toilet right outside of the shower area. On the back wall, got more hooks for your towels there. Have this really large exhaust fan that is a multi-speed exhaust fan. Upgraded shower head, skylight in here. There is also the optional cloth uh, hanging rack or the bar that's already in here that is fully removable. Great for storage though, for extra clothes. And this is a huge shower. Uh, this is more of a square shower, tons of room inside. 
And I also really like on this model, they use a marine grade shower door. And this just pulls straight across and locks into place. And when you close it, it has a wiper inside that will keep the shower door dry for you. So that will just pull straight across and it stays nice and tight. That way you're not fighting with the shower curtain. On the other side, you have more storage back here. They have tons of built-in storage in this model. Great for all your linens back here. And with the sink area, we have this huge single bowl sink, another motion sensor light in the bathroom, medicine cabinet, and one tent outlet up here. Overall, this is a great camper, a perfect couples coach. If you're looking to get away for an extended time, there's plenty of storage in here and a lot of great amenities. And that will conclude our walkthrough of the Alpha Wolf 22 SWL. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.